Hello everyone, I bring to you another of my inspiring cake recipe, my 3 in 1 butter recipe. Like this cake recipe is going to put you ahead of others. It can, you can use it for your wedding, your birthday parties and anniversaries. Let us do this. So it's very simple to make this cake. All you need is your 1 kg of butter or margarine. Then to that you add 1 over 8 cup of vegetable oil and 950 grams of granulated sugar. So you go ahead and mount this to your, uh, your mixer and then you start mixing or creaming. You need to cream this till it's light, creamy and fluffy. Once your buttercream is ready, you start adding in the eggs. For this recipe, you need 1 kg of eggs. So you start adding in the eggs gradually up to 3 batches. Then you add the first one you cream, you add the second time you cream and the last batch. After adding in the eggs, next thing to add is your sifted 1 kg of flour and you need to be adding this gradually. You can still add it up to 3 batches or 4 batches depending on how you want it but make sure you are adding it gradually and when you are adding your flour, you need to use the lowest speed of your mixer and uh, also as you once the flour is combined, then you can increase the speed. Yes, you can also do this with your hands or with your um, mini mixers and all that. I have videos on how you can use all those if you want to make your cakes. So, you can still use them and try this recipe and it will work perfectly. Next thing to add is 2 and half tablespoon of baking powder. You add 2 tablespoons and a half of a tablespoon of baking powder into this um, cake batter. So once you have added that, next thing you add is your white vinegar, one tablespoon of white vinegar. You can still replace this white vinegar with lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice of a lemon fruit. It will also work out fine. So you go ahead and cream everything thoroughly so that everything will combine properly. Okay. So the next thing to add is the vanilla flavor. So this is for the first cake recipe we are making from this particular batter which is our all known all weather uh, vanilla cake. So as a beginner baker one of the easiest cake to always learn is your plain vanilla cake. That is always the perfect and the easiest cake batter to learn. So once my vanilla cake is ready the next thing is to start baking. So for the first recipe, which is the vanilla cake, I baked, I used my 8 inches vanilla cake, uh, my 8 inches pan, sorry, and each um, way, each butter I weighed with the pan is up to 600 grams. So I weighed 600 gram butter in the pan and I baked out of this whole butter I made in my mixer bowl, I baked twice or two of the vanilla cake okay and each of these weighed 600 grams so i baked in my preheated oven at 150 degrees c for 55 to 60 minutes depending and the cake came out well the same way i i now went ahead to separate or to divide the remaining butter in my bowl into two parts now to one part I'm using to make one of the recipes or the second recipe and the other one was for the third recipe. So the first recipe or the second one among the two batters that I separated is the coconut cake. So to that I added about two tablespoons of 
the coconut or the desiccated coconut and to the other part i added a drop of red velvet food color so to the coconut part i added coconut flavor and to the red to the one i added the red velvet food color i added strawberry flavor so meaning that i have created my coconut cake and my strawberry cake out of this <laughs> it sounds funny right but absolutely this is so simple to make you can just use one butter to create these recipes you can create as many recipes as you want and all of them will taste absolutely okay better and fine So once I was done mixing or creating this second and the third recipes, I went ahead to bake them just the same way I baked the first one, which is the vanilla cake. I sprinkled some coconut uh, uh, on top of the coconut cake and baked, and that was it. I also did the same. Uh, I also baked the strawberry cake, and everything came out perfectly. Like. <laughs> You're going to fall in love with this recipe when you try it and you can see everything was leveled at the top and baked absolutely I, I always like it when my cake browns so well because it will help my cake to last longer uh, but if it didn't brown well it's not sometimes that causes your cake to spoil quickly but if your cake browns so well it will last longer i hope you guys love this recipe and i know you're going to try it please if you try don't forget to let me know in the comment section how it turned out for you. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.